So today we're taking a look at basically straightening this z-axis. At the moment these are all a bit wobbly, we've not got them in any sort of alignment, so the bed can just... that's not any good really to anyone. So what we're going to try and do is make sure these are straight, make sure this ends up level, in the middle, centre, front, back, you know, all those things. To start with, we want to make sure that this is approximately in the middle. It doesn't matter very, very precisely. So you want, what's mine, 35 mil there and about 35 mil there. So give or take approximately 35 mil and you'll be good as gold. Front to back, you're sort of set by these anyway. So once your bed is approximately centered, then you can get started with moving these. The next thing you want to look out for is when you're positioning the bottom and top, try and make sure that you keep them at least vertical by eye and don't go beyond here because obviously if you go beyond there then your nuts won't hold in the frame but you want to be sort of as wide as possible I think really. That should give you the best stability. The way we sort of want to do this is fix these at the bottom then we'll make sure these are straight and then we'll fix the ones at the top. So I'm going to just basically eyeball this, make sure this is about level there, and that will set this in a reasonably good position. That's about 38 millimetres, and that's about 36 millimetres. So this one can probably go out a little bit more anyway. Remember, as I said before, the rods are not centred to the, yeah, the mount, but I mean, it doesn't really matter. It doesn't really matter where these are as long as they're straight if that makes sense so you could have one like here and one right over there and it doesn't matter that they're not symmetrical as long as they're straight vertical so I want mine approximately here and approximately here so I'm going to go ahead and fix this in place just by tightening these into the frame now the, the mount itself might not be pointing that shaft completely vertical, but we don't have to worry about that too much. It should be vertical enough for us to get started. And once we, when we get closer to the end, we can actually come back, uh, loosen them off and let them sort of self align once we know that this is straight. So this, this bottom now is fixed in place. And what we wanna do is measure But it's not particularly the distance that we want. We just want to be able to have a fixed distance. So we're going to take this here. Sorry, a bit loud. Ugh. Can't do it. There we go. So although that isn't the measured distance, that's the distance from the frame to the edge of the rod. So that should be the same. If it's vertical, so vertical to the frame, then it should, that distance should be the same all the way up. So now we've locked off our vernier calipers, they can't move in and out, they're locked at 67.5. So now we can just put this at the top and move that rod, oop, there you go, move that rod to be in line, to just contact that. We don't want to force it and push it, we just want to, when it hits, then we know that's about in the right place. So now we can go ahead and fix the top. Now this won't necessarily be the final, final position, but it's a starting point. You've got to make yourself a sort of reference point to start off. If everything turns out to be not quite straight, then you can go back and do some corrections. So that will be a pretty good start already. That's already a lot better than it was. So this measurement, although it's now correct at the top, at the bottom, it's now too small. So how does that work? Well, as we measured it like this, because we weren't right at the bottom, we were measuring here. And as that's straightened up, that's actually reduced that measurement slightly. So although that's now correct at the top, very close to being correct, we're now just going to loosen off the bottom a little bit and improve that slightly. If you wanted to, you could put something under the bed to hold it up. I might do that in a moment if it gets a bit of a, a bit of a pain to hold. So now, there we go, that's it. Right, let's find something to spot that bed. <laughs> Here we go. 
There we go. So that holds the bed out of the way. Now we can just move this rod where we want it. With a bit of spring because of the weight from the bed. So now that we've aligned this, that's better there. And that's the same there. So now that's much straighter than, so it took three steps. The measure at the bottom, fix it at the top, and then fix it at the bottom again. And that's very straight, mm, pretty straight. Straight enough for us, I think. So we can now use this measurement just by flipping over the very nears or verniers, whatever you like to call them. And we'll just do the same here. So if we approximate, we get the bottom about right, then move it to the top. That's miles off, so let's move that over. See the problem we have now. So that one we want about there. That's the bottom. Now do the top. Now recheck the bottom. And that one's turned out much better. So now we're doing really well now. We got so you can see how that's massively improved now. A bit noisy, obviously, but maybe that's to be expected. So one thing we can do now to help us do the other side is make this bed level using by fixing these. So uh, see the, the best way I did it, let me, I'll be back in a second. So the best way I found to fix this level is to get some 2020 extrusion, prop this up, and that's now not going anywhere. So that's how that's fixed pretty solid in place. So I would find some spaces if you can find some, level them off of that, and then you see, just tighten this in here. So now we can pull these out. Look how much better that is. Barely wobbles at all. There's more ball on the other side. Let's not do that, that's probably not a good idea. Okay, so now we've done one side. <coughs> Before we go to the other, we're just gonna tighten, so these little clamps, tighten down those M3 screws so that the shafts don't move because we don't want them falling out. They probably wouldn't anyway, but because the clamp is sort of tight enough to hold them regardless. Okay. So now those shafts are not going anywhere. Happy days. Getting on nicely. So now we'll switch this around and we'll carry on with the other side. So carrying on with the other side, we just do the things with the thing. Oh, okay, that's fine. It's just an inch. Uh, just do the thing, set the thing, get the thing with the thing and tighten it. It's so easy. Almost unreal. Right. Should now be pretty solid. 